Clover Cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, and I trust that you're having a fantastic Friday afternoon. Now, it's the weekend, baby, and there's no better way to was it in the weekend than with our clover cheesy churros. You may have her only heard about churros in the sweet recipe, so be prepared to be inspired. Chef Chumi, how are you going to inspire us? Well, darling, we've been working all week. We mm. made our cheese. It's time to celebrate. Let the people know how they can get this <laughs> recipe. Go online, go to afternoonexpress.co.za, get your ingredients, yeah. and let's get cheesy. Let's get cheesy. All right, to get started with our recipe today, we're making nice, delicious churros mm. with a bit of cheese in them. And to make the churros, we need to start with the shoe pastry. Mm. And a basic shoe pastry has these ingredients. We've got some water. You can, oh, you can change the water for milk. It's completely up to you. I'm going to start with that. Get our water heated up in our saucepan, and then I've got some butter that's going to be melted into the liquid as well. Then we're going to go and go with our salt and sugar and then we go in with the flour it's a whole process but while I get that ready you're gonna be doing the cheese sauce for us that goes with our churros not only are we getting cheesy with the churros we've got the cheesy sauce and likes the cheese in Amtlanja girl we got the cheese I can see you got the <laughs> decadence the indulgence here and it looks so good tastes even better now do me for this cheese sauce okay I recently learned how to make a white sauce a bechamel sauce yes, girl. and then I found out that just to make a cheese sauce, what do you do? You add the cheese, Bali. Duh. So now I'm going to go ahead and run in. What do was like, Bali, I want to make sure you know how to make a cheese sauce. I said, I'm hoping that this is how you make it. You're correct, darling. And the one thing I like about this is that because we're using this clover product, the cheese is going to melt nicely into it. But before you do that, there's something I like to do with the butter. Is mm. to bur not burn it per se, but to cook it out and it gets this nice caramelly taste, mm. which is called a beer noisette, which is burnt butter. Uh -huh. So not only does it have that cheesy flavor, it's also got that caramelly flavor and just literally goes well together. So then going back to how people originally have this recipe, I know you said that, you know, it's a sweet treat. Yes. But here we're taking it savory, we're yes. taking it cheesy. So then is that caramelization of the butter, does it work quite hand in hand it, with the sweetness? Definitely, because what normally happens is with a typical basic churro, they then roll it in some sugar and cinnamon afterwards. Mm. So obviously having that caramel flavor in the actual churro and then the sweet and the cinnamon, it would just be an amazing mm. bomb right there. So For myself, oh, sorry to break yeah. Just to finish off with the with the white sauce here. Yeah. For myself, my telltale is when it starts smelling like popcorn. Ah. You know when the house starts smelling <laughs> like popcorn, then you know your batter is ready yes, and girl. you can go in with the flour. You've been you've been doing, taking some classes or giving some classes. I don't know which one it is now. The internet was my class during <laughs> lockdown. And get it to me, you decided to go. Um, we had to social distance and isolate Ish, separately. So, you know, I had to just make it up as I go. But luckily, we are back together here, giving South Africa some food inspiration. Exactly. So I've just gone in with my sugar and my salt into the liquid that we have here. Mm. So the whole idea is we want to cook off the, the, the flour that we're putting in here. But at the same time, you don't want it to, to boil. You don't want to uh, actually cook it, overcook it. You're basically just heating it up so that all the ingredients can come together. So if you okay. can look here, we've got the liquid. It's nicely bubbling away. Mm -hmm. And then into this, we're going to add our flour. Okay. And the trick is once you add your flour, you need to go in as quick as you can and just stir it all thoroughly. Mm. It will get nice and clumpy and lumpy. It's okay. It's all part of the process. Okay. And this is our shoe pastry halfway there. Oh, wow, I can it's really see it um, coming together. Correct. So it's nicely bound together. And we're taking it off the heat now because we're about to add our eggs, but we don't want it to um, obviously overcook the eggs. Mm. Luckily for you, I did make another batch earlier. Okay. Because, you know, I'm superwoman and all that. So <laughs> yeah. we're going to get started with... Come through with your cape, queen. <laughs> Come through with that cape. So okay. we've added our eggs. In here, we've got three eggs. We basically added them one by one, and mm. then we whisked it together, mm. and it gave us this beautifully soft, smooth um, uh, batter. Okay. And so now... I'm going in with my churros that are going to be nicely fried. Mm -hmm. Inside this batter, I actually incorporated the cheese. So after mixing in the eggs and everything, I let it cool a bit, and then I added the cheese, our clover cheese, which is good for you because it's mm -hmm. got all those beautiful vitamins and minerals in it. And it's great for calcium. Oh, wow, okay. As we all know. So it's a great source of calcium. And not only are we giving you calcium in the churro, we're giving you calcium on the churro. Like, we, we're going all in. Doubling up here on you the know cheese. know how we do in I can kitchen. kind of see Udumi knew that I was going to be in the kitchen today and not Chef <laughs> Anele because I'm looking for some cheese that might be looking for an owner because my tummy is looking to take <laughs> some cheese in. Normally, I can just sneak some cheese here, but you have made sure that all the cheese is accounted for. You must work for your cheese, darling. You don't just get cheese for free in this kitchen. I feel like my, my week's work was worth it, but I guess not here. 
here. If you want to cook along with us, as you can see, we're having such a great time. And what an incredible way to bond with the family over the weekend. Just head over to the Afternoon Express website. Use that, um, I'm pushing out to use that hashtag. I guess you can use that hashtag if you want to share the end products with us. Correct. We'd love to see it on social media, don't you think? Sweet or savory, whichever you'd like. Just send those recipes, those, those pictures through. We want to see who's mm. the better of the churros. Who's yeah. the churro king or queen? <laughs> who's the churro king or queen? But if you like, before we even get into any royal chat here, and you just want the basic, just head over to Afternoon Express's website, afternoon, afternoonexpress.co.za, and we've got everything lined up for you. And this is what it looks like after it's been cooked. Yeah. Those nice little uh, cheesy bits on the inside and on the outside. It's nice and crispy on the outside mm. and nice and fluffy on the inside. And then you're giving us a cheese sauce to go with it. Mm. What else could be cheesier? Absolutely nothing. I know what could be cheesier. Certain <laughs> men's pickup lines. And I'm so glad that all restaurants and bars and everything is closed because now, ladies aren't getting any cheesiness when it comes to pickup lines. But no, this is all the cheese I need. Nicely done. That cheese sauce looks amazing, by the way. Thank you. Thank Elbow you so grease, much. darling. Elbow grease. Go in with it. <laughs> oh, do me. Another thing that South Africans might not understand. Remember how I told you that during um, lockdown, I had to just, you know, find my own way of, of, of creating magic in the kitchen? Yes, stop. I was wondering how to not make a clumpy and lumpy bechamel cheese sauce or white sauce. And the Oh, Chef Anela taught me it's all in the whisk. The whisk, yes. Elbow if you grease. use a fork or anything else, woo, good luck to you. But here, if you use the whisk, it gives enough aeration and allows for the ingredients to truly um, distribute into, into the pot, come together, thicken, mwah, voila. It literally wants you to always keep an eye on it so you can keep doing that. So okay. the more you do that, the oh, less it's I missed you, Galo, because lockdown is doing things to us now. We are missing our friends. We're missing our families. So yes. my own, you're my only family here in Cape Town. Oh, Afternoon yes. Express family. So And also <laughs> shout out to all the families that have been holding each other down during this time. I know Dumi and I, we're in Cape Town here alone, but yeah. you know what? We're alone <laughs> together. Yes, we are. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, this is done. This is done. That looks amazing. So you see how beautiful it is? Nice and creamy, no lumps. Mm -hmm. Nice and cheesy, no lumps. Got you. Time Wait, to eat. I'm, re I'm ready to eat. Let's go eat. South Africa, if you want to be cooking along with us, head over to Afternoon Express's website, afternoonexpress.co.za, and you could be making some cheesy churros along with us. Clover cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover.